Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video has been prompted by a subscriber who came up to me and they looked at my throttle cut for your RC planes where you have an electric motor and you have a safe throttle where if you accidentally arm the throttle, the motor with the throttle forward, the, the motor won't arm. And they came up with a different idea. That's the, that's the um, thing about HTX is that you can do things in multiple different ways. And I quite like the way the person did this. The way I do it, I use curves, which helps people because I try and um, you know, teach people how to do to uh, uh, program HTX. So it's, it's quite a nice way to show how, what, what a curve does. But this way it means you can leave one uh, particular part of the programming out. You don't need to have a curve. And it does exactly the same um, same thing. It, it makes a safe throttle. And basically it's using uh, your overriding channel three which in, in my case, channel three is the throttle. So let's switch over to the radio and I'll quickly show you how to program this um, well, version of the safe throttle. Now let's take a look at the settings on the radio. So I'm using the boxer radio for this. So what we need to do is first set up the logical switches. So we're gonna go over to the logical switches and we're going on to logical switch one and here we are going to choose A is smaller than X and where A is our throttle input. Now all you need to do is push enter and move your throttle. There we go, now it's selected it for us. And then V2 is going to be the value that we will need to put in there that we want it to be. So that's going to be 98. And there we go, that's logical switch one set up. Let me come back out. Logical switch two is going to be the function is or. Uh, there we go, or. And then it would needs to be logical switch. So push it along press and then push logical switches. And we want one and in here, again, long press, logical switch and number two. Now this is where we need to select our switch. So it's and switch and this is going to be, um, I'm using SE. So we're gonna push enter once, click, and it must be with the uh, throttle armed. So I'm sorry, bigger part the switch armed. So that's the switch forward in my case. Now the important bit, we need the delay, which is going to be 0.5. Now we're all good on there. We can disarm again. And uh, then we're gonna come out now. This is the difference between the previous way I did this and this method. Now I do like the other way because um, it shows people how to use curves, but this is a sort of more simpler way to set up a safe throttle. Now, if we go across to our special functions, we now are gonna to go to a spare slot there. And this is going to be, we need a logical switch. So we go to tap and long press and go to logical switches. Now this time we need uh, exclamation mark, logical switch two. Now this means not that switch. So we're gonna have to go right up until we get to the not section. Um, let's keep going, we get there in a second. And we need logical switch two. There it is, logical switch two. We're going to, we are going to select override and we need to select channel three. And then we need a value of minus 100. So now that is the special function set up. Now we're going to come, come, go forward until we get to our mixes. Now all we need to do in here is go to the throttle, push edit, and we now have to pick the logical switch and we're gonna go down to the switch here, press, long press, logical switches, and we need logical switch two here. Now, we should be all good to go with our safe throttle. So if we come out to our window, you can see we're disarmed. The throttle is not working. I'm gonna put the throttle forward and arm. And you can see there still is no throttle. We go down quickly. You can see no throttle. Go down, leave it there. There you go, throttle pops up and we're good to go. And there we go, as I said earlier, it's, there's multiple ways to program an HTX radio. Um, now, you now you've got two methods of doing this. As I said earlier, I like doing the one with the curve because it shows people what a curve can do. 
Uh, but this is, is, is actually a, a simpler way to do it. So uh, well done to that subscriber. And thanks for uh, you know, giving me a comment and, and, and showing me this. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Please ensure that you check your model settings thoroughly before arming or flying your model.